All right. Looking powerful. It is powerful. Ladies and gentlemen, sisters and brothers, appreciate you tuning in to Global Media Incorporated. Tonight we got a powerful, powerful event going down. We've got the Wu-Tang affiliate, Sons of Man member, Hellraiser with us tonight. We've also yes, got indeed. The, yes, sir. We've also got the tribal minister himself, the mighty Hebrew. We've also got more Ray Yoel with us of Yahweh. You know him as a close personal friend of the tribal ministers. And you know he is also one of his spiritual advisors. So we're always, always glad and thankful when more Ray Yoel joins us. We've also got some other special guests joining us as the live stream uh, progresses. The main purpose tonight is let the audience know all around the world some breaking news, some partnerships, and just to kind of let the family know what the mighty Hebrew has been up to and also let you know what Hellraiser has got going on. So, Hellraiser. Do me a favor, good brother. Introduce yourself to the family. Let them know what you've got going on as far as your music, the documentary, and all your social media links and your website, good brother. Kane, Kane. Okay. Um, my name I go by is um, Hellraiser, uh, a.k.a. Heavenraiser, and a.k.a. El Raziel. And um, I'm a member of the Wu-Tang family tree group, Sons of Man, a member of the Black Market Militia, and a member of the Maccabees Militia. And um been working on a couple things lately. A few a few few got, got a documentary coming, you know, on my re recovery and um just music and my life. And um and I got a soundtrack to that coming with it. And um, got a, got a, got a projects, albums, projects coming that I've been working on for my company. My, my label is called Hellraiser Music Inc. Incorporated. And um, I have a movement that's called Ghetto Government Officials. That's global, worldwide, GGO. And um, we do things for, 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 for whatever places that the, the members live in. We do things for the, for the, for the, for the ghettos in that area. And um, we, we, we have certain events and, and stuff. It could be the winter. People may not have coats and things like that. We, we may put together something for them to be able to have, have things. And um, it's strictly positive. And um, it's global, too. It's out the country, actually. And um, I have an album that goes with that also. And um been working on a few things, a few things lately. The, my documentary is the main thing that's focused right now, and um, the soundtracks to that, and my my, my label projects is, is, the, is the next second secondary importance. And just going hard, and you know, trying to trying to fight the fight back with, with what they're doing to us, with trying to numbers and dumb us down. And um, people got to be strong and, and, and smart now. No doubt, no doubt. Because it's got. Let the audience. Could you let the audience know uh, your Twitter, uh, where oh. they can find you on Facebook, and yes. also is uh, is HellraiserDigital.com still your your main website, good brother? That's my main website. If you want to log on to anything or know anything about what I'm doing today. You would log. You would log onto my website, Hellraiser R A Z A H, HellraiserDigital.com, and um, you go you, you go there and they tell you everything, from what albums I have out in stores and everything else, SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, everything that's 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 so, social networks involved is on there, and um, my Instagram is Hellraisergram. And that's R A Z A H, Hellraza Graham, one word. And um, you find me on Facebook, Heaven Razor, Sharon C H R O N Heaven Razor Smith. And um, my Twitter also is Heaven Razor at Heaven 
Razor. And I have another one that's at Razor Rubies. R U B I E Z. Razor Rubies. And um and I have one for, for my El Raziel too. Uh, it's uh E L R A Z I E L. El Raziel. And uh, at at El Raziel. Nice those, Razor. Those nice. are my Twitters. No and my, I was my, in there. Yeah, my label. My, la- I, I, my label. Go I have. A, I have. I have one for my label too, and it's um uh, H at H R M I Hellraiser Music Inc. G G O. That's the label for the label account. Shalom, shalom, bro. Shalom. All right, we've we've now been yes. joined by Ambassador Abraham. I, I'll get to him in one second for the introduction. Uh, before I take take it over to the mighty Hebrew, the ambassador, and the good brother Yoel, I was reading a little bit about your documentary, Reza, and uh, also one of your latest projects. You got a bunch of artists working with you, such as Killer Priest and some other Wu Tang Clan affiliates. Can you can you let the family know when that documentary might be dropping, good brother? Uh, um, I was release date. Right now, right now, I'm still filming. Right. As we talking right now, I'm still filming, still filming parts to that right now, and um, maybe right, well, I would say, I would say by 2017 it should be out. All right, no doubt. Well, appreciate your time tonight, and uh, coming and showing support, uh, you know, for the mighty Hebrew and what he's got going on as long as well as the ambassador Abraham. And, and the tribal minister. Uh, I'm actually going to go to the ambassador dealing with Torah, dealing with law. We, we respect our elders. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are from the United Nation of Israel, Ambassador Avraham. Uh, Shalom, elder. I'm glad you could join us. We're just introducing everybody really quick, but let the audience know who you, who you are, elder, please. Shalom, shalom. Can I be heard? Time. Well, this is Ambassador Avraham bin Levi Israel from the UNY, United Nation of Israel. Wanted to call and give a shout out in support of the mighty Hebrew and his new website. And wanted everyone to know that, you know, we are making great strides in bringing the nation together, the communities from all around the world are participating with us on March 27th to raise our national flag all over the world. We've gotten a great response, and um, we're just excited about being here and supporting the mighty Hebrew. He's been a great spokesperson for the United Nations of Israel and for all of Israel, and we support him 100%. So, shalom. All right, thank thank you, Ambassador, and uh, we appreciate all your all your efforts, Elder. That's March 27th through 29th, Jamestown, Virginia. To see anything more about that event, you can check the ambassador's Facebook page, Avraham Israel, and also the official trailer. And all the information is also available on this channel. All you got to do is scroll down, past videos, past uploads, and you can find out all you want to know as far as uh, accommodations, the hotel information, uh, the events that will be taking place, a bunch of respected uh, elders giving lectures, presentations. It's going to be a beautiful event, and these gentlemen have spent a lot of time and effort behind the scenes making this happen. Now, our guest of honor, the tribal minister himself, the mighty Hebrew. Mighty Hebrew, if you would like to introduce, take us into a small prayer, and then we can discuss why we're actually here tonight, and that is to let the family know about your new groundbreaking website, good brother. Hallelujah. First, giving all praise and honor to Yah, the eternal one of Israel. You know, I thank the creator of heaven and earth for preserving your lives. Uh, we can definitely start this off with prayer. Then you can get it on with the presentation. Hallelujah. 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 
O great and eternal King Yahuwah, to the Rabbah for seeing another day today. We thank you, Yah, great and eternal King, for giving us the breath of life. We thank you, Yah, eternal King, for everything that you've done for us. I thank you, O Yah, great and eternal King, for preserving the lives of the brothers that's on this phone, preserving the lives of Israel all over the four corners of the earth. We thank you, Yah, for resurrecting us once again back into the Hebrew nation of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Ask you to bless over the international inaugural flag raising. For we know that this March 27th to the 29th is your hand, Yah. Ask you to bless over us, keep us, and continue to give us eternal peace and oneness and completeness. Ask you to bless over the calendar coalition. For tomorrow, that'll be another presentation that'll be bringing, being brought forth from the voice of Zion. We ask you, Yah, to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to continue to the best of our ability to uphold your law, statutes, and commandments via your feast to the best of our ability in a land of great captivity. We ask you to bless over the children of Israel, all the Hebrew Israelite camps, all over the four corners of the earth. And I ask you, Yah, to give us the will to consolidate as one autonomistic United Nation of Israel. Hallelujah. 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 Yah Chai. Yah Chai. Yah Beautiful, beautiful tribal minister. We appreciate you, good brother, and all your efforts. I want to get an introduction, quick statement from more radio well, and then we're going to lead into. Uh, the first part of our uh, discussion and presentation tonight. You guys know Moray Yoel. His website, yazway7.com. You can also find him on Facebook at Yazway. You heard Moray Yoel join us last night along with the Mighty Hebrew. It was one of the uh, interviews we had with Rabbi Rosenberg, and he asked some, some very good questions. So Moray Yoel, good brother. Shalom. Glad you could join us. Let the audience know who you are and what you got going on, good brother. Can, can, no problem. First of all, I want to give all honor and praise to the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh Sava'ot, and I'd like to uh, say shalom to our panel members, to our, our Ambassador Abraham, to our honoree of the evening, our mighty Hebrew, and also to our brother, the Chieftain, Heaven Raiser, and also to our brother, Basim. I'd like to say shalom to all the rest of the family that's going to be uh, listening in and hearing the recording. Um, I guess just a little bit about myself, just uh, spiritually, you know, just a um, leader in Israel, uh, just, you know, part of a lot of uh, projects, just trying to do a lot of things to bring unity and cohesion in our nation. Um, also, uh, professionally uh, into psychology. So, you know, we're going to be bringing that spin uh, to the nation, trying to help build a lot of our people from many of the mental uh, diseases that we are uh, affected by. So tonight, our uh, focus is basically on the uh, Mighty Hebrew University and uh, looking forward to uh, uh, seeing a lot of the work that uh, the Mighty Hebrew as well as uh, Basim uh, um, has put together. And uh, this is going to be a powerful, powerful thing. And I'm going to say some of my comments for reference to uh, the university for later, but I'm looking forward to uh, caring for the Mighty Hebrew. I'm definitely happy for our brother, and it's about time that we are getting this exposure and putting this truth out there to the people. So it's going to be a powerful presentation tonight, and I'm definitely looking forward to uh, us explaining the information and the solutions, you know, bringing an answer to our people. And so with that being said, giving again all praise to the Holy One of Israel, and uh, looking forward to a wonderful evening. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Yoel. All right, gentlemen, as long as nobody else has anything else to say, I'm going to cue up the video, the recording of the video conference I had with the website designer. I believe it's roughly 12 minutes of footage. It covers every area of the website. Uh, Mighty Hebrew and more radio you well. Uh, besides what I'm explaining, at any time, feel free to add on and incorporate any of your commentary at any given time because I can always stop the video uh, at any specific part so we can let the audience know exactly what's going on. So it's no secret reason why we are all joined here tonight for this joyous occasion is the fact that uh, the long-awaited, uh, long-overdue, yes, 
the the mighty hebrew.com is finally here and uh, it's an idea a concept that several of us had we brainstormed and now that concept and that idea and that vision is now reality so I'm gonna screen share here present this to the audience tuned in live and we're gonna go over the website what you see here is the home page so I encourage everybody right now go to www.themightyhebrew.com you will have a chance to sign up and register for membership. If you want to receive access to everything that the website has to offer, you have to sign up. Up top here on the upper left hand corner, which you see, we have all the social media plugs and icons. As you move your icon cursor over the icons, you'll see Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. There is um, also on the upper right hand corner is where you log in and you sign up and right above that is the search bar and if you just want to search a specific area you just go to the search bar enter whatever keyword press enter so the reason why we ask you to log in and sign up is because you'll receive notifications that way through email or whatever for every way you want to be contacted electronically Whenever the mighty Hebrew uh, has scheduled something for his calendar, his events, speaking engagements, anytime anything is added as far as his uh, community and events section, you can also keep up with any of his uh, radio shows, any of his latest videos on YouTube. There's a media section. We're going to get into that as we as we go through the website, but. Right now you're looking at the home page. Uh, the, one of the main parts of the MightyHebrew.com is what we call the Mighty Hebrew University. And the main part of the Mighty Hebrew University, and you see the opening uh, description. We're still here, right? Yeah, he's still here. Oh, wow. Um, mute your joint, Hellraiser. Mute your own joint. Oh, I don't even know how to do that. You got to hit your screen. Oh. He'll be back on. He'll be back on. Hit your screen. You see that? There you go. All right. Yeah, yeah. You see I'm your back. screen? You're going to see the button. Oh, the mute okay, button. I got y'all. Hold on. Uh, all right. We're all right. back. You guys ready? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, basically, where I left off, Can you guys see the website, right? Okay, we see it. We see it good. All right. So I read the vision of the mighty Hebrew University. As you scroll down, you'll see the tribal minister himself imposed over a beautiful skyline image of what appears to be downtown New York City. Next part of the website is the about. Uh, as I, I don't know if you heard me before, but this icon at the bottom always takes you back to the home page throughout the whole website. And one thing I want to add real quick is, yes, the MightyHebrew.com is optimized for all electronic devices, whether you're on a cell phone, a tablet, a PC, notebook, laptop. Yes, the MightyHebrew.com will come in in the highest resolution, and it is, uh, you know, incorporated with the latest technology. Uh, next we have the about page. You'll see the image of the mighty Hebrew imposed in a beautiful desert scene in Israel and it gives the biography uh, credentials of the mighty Hebrew. The next part is the community. The community part I can describe briefly what it's gonna be 
we just haven't uploaded the text. The community event, as you all know, the mighty Hebrew is the tribal minister, and he's pushing a Hebrew-Israelite sovereign nationalism agenda. And he's telling you that, yes, we will have some indifferences in doctrine. Yes, we may have some differences in beliefs. Uh, yes, some of us subscribe uh, you know, Hamashiach, you know, uh, also known as Christ, and some of us are, you know, Torah-based or Old Testament. So the mighty Hebrew uh, m may have what some would call a challenging task ahead of him, but he's definitely the right man for the job. So the community section is going to be any of his speaking engagements, any of the events where he's going to be a Caring. Uh, as long as you're subscribed to the website, you'll get updates anytime something is uploaded to the calendar. So yes, stay tuned. The Mighty Hebrew will be coming to a city near you. Next is the calendar. Of course, this is the Hebrew calendar that Mighty Hebrew, More Yoel, put together, subscribe to. Holy days, feast days, everything. And anytime uh, something is added, it's a lot, what they call a live calendar, inter interactive calendar. Anytime he adds an event on the calendar date, you'll be notified of it. And by clicking on the day of the event, like the cursor showing you here, it'll tell you where he's going to be or what's going on on that specific day. So everybody can keep up with where he's going to be and what he's got going on and also let you know uh, what holy day it is. Uh, the next part of the website, after you move past the calendar section, um, and I, I spoke on the current events. Basically, the current events is another drop-down um, underneath the link. This takes us to uh, the online store. Uh, yes, yes, the Mighty Hebrew does. Uh, all rights are reserved. Um, the Mighty Hebrew does own... Uh, his own logos, emblems, um, they are protected, but as you see here, we've got t-shirts, we've got hoodies, we've got long sleeve shirts, um, with various logos, uh, and, and different colors too. As you see, the PayPal link is directly underneath the merchandise. There's the Mighty Hebrews other logo. Uh, tribal minister and that white on black looks looks really really good uh, if you ask me that's one of my personal favorites and yes uh, the apparel and merchandise will be uh, you know it, it, we will be implementing more designs more merchandise more apparel uh, this is just what we're starting off with but yes there is a there is an online store and um, you can pay electronically Got the PayPal icon, accept all major credit cards, Visa, MasterCard, American Express. You can pay through PayPal and, yeah, basically click on buy now and you're done. Next part of the MightyHebrew.com is the media section. The media section, you'll be able to click on and scroll down. It's two main areas, his video and his gallery. The gallery is mainly when the Mighty Hebrew is out. That's all of the community as a whole. As a lot of you guys know, he was just building with FOPE, -O -E, some of the brothers down in Washington, D.C., uh, you know, well respected uh, New Testament camp. He was speaking with them. And I, and I want to also say that, uh, from my understanding, they, they, they displayed a bunch of hospitality to the Mighty Hebrew as well. Here's the video section. It's got some of the latest videos that you can find here on Global Media Inc. It's got uh, the Mighty Hebrew with uh, former New York Giants, former Kansas City, City Chief NFL superstar Jeremy Horn. It's also got um, some of the videos, Mighty Hebrew and Jeremy Horn. This is when we did a uh, video on the Talmud with the Mighty Hebrew. Uh, it's also got the videos with him, Killer Priest, uh, Hellraiser, when we did that show. Uh, I want everybody to go back and listen to this show. Uh, do the Knowledge Radio, Hebrew Israelite, Sovereign Nationalism. The Ambassador played a major part in that show, as well as Joel and the Mighty Hebrew. So, yeah, 
the media part is uh, a photo gallery and it's also uh, the direct links to any of the video gallery and the double arrows bring you back and this icon right here at any time brings you to the home page. All right, for the next part of the website, uh, well, let me show you the gallery actually. Uh, the gallery is just going to be, like I said, for, for members. Um, once, once your photos are approved by one of the administrators, uh, you'll have the opportunity to post your photos of yourself and any positive thing you're doing in the community. And these are just some photos that were recently taken of the mighty Hebrew while he was out doing his sovereign nationalism uh, building. And, and there's some of the brothers from various camps, you know, doing what, doing what the, the mighty Hebrew is known for doing. Uh, the next part of the website, I believe I almost covered everything except for the university. As you go further on through, you can click to university. Uh, the first drop down is the book club. Second one is the Mighty Hebrew University. There's the description. Mighty Hebrew, to make a long story short, Mighty Hebrew University is, is an online learning tutorial program. We're going to offer Hebrew classes, lessons, and study guides three different ranges starting with beginner, intermediate, and advanced. You're going to have an opportunity to learn both dialects of Hebrew, also including the Paleo-Hebrew, and not only, uh, you're going to learn how to read, write, and speak Hebrew. And depending on which uh, dialect you choose to learn, it's a full explanatory curriculum. Each course presents presented with the learning material resources, classroom meeting, um, live instructor support. Mo Ray Yoel plays a big part in that, as well as the Mighty Hebrew. Uh, not only Hebrew classes, but history classes. Going to have Torah classes, Torah study guides, and Hebrew culture and linguistic classes. Also, yes, we will be live streaming through the MightyHebrew.com. The MightyHebrew.com has an RSS feed, so anytime we're live on YouTube, we will also be live on the website at the same time, simultaneously. And the live support you receive, if you want to enroll in these classes with Moray Yoel and the tribal minister himself, will be conducted via Skype or the Google Hangout. <coughs> Excuse me. And so that covers the introduction. Basically, Hebrew classes, learn, read, write, Torah, study guide, lessons, classes on various levels. Another, this is another one of my personal favorites. This is what we call the book club or the Mighty Hebrews book club. Basically, we're going to start off with the first 10 to 12 most recommended books that the Mighty Hebrew himself recommends that you get and you read. If you're interested in purchasing those books, we're implementing an online bookstore. Or a lot of these books, some of them are very hard to find. So I encourage everybody to try and find the PDF or the uh, a lot. You can get some of these as an e-book and, and not have to worry about shipping or actually purchasing the book. But the material, uh, you need to read some of these books. So that's the book club. And every month we're going to be adding... Uh, another book to that and we're going to be doing some some book reviews um, also going to be uh, doing some study guides to those books and just exchanging some information and discussing those books and, and, and seeing what certain people enjoyed the most and thought was important so that's that's what what I call the mighty Hebrews book club and then at the end we have the tribal minister, Charlene Dean, Ben Ami, Mark Tazaria Sr., also known as the Mighty Hebrew. It breaks down his credentials, breaks down his bio, uh, his affiliation as the tribal minister, Kingdom of Yah, breaks down some of the things he's doing with the ambassador, More Yoel, and More Yoel Yisrael. No, we did not forget about him. He plays a very important part in making this happen. And this down here at the bottom is uh, 
more Radio Wells bio. You just give us a couple seconds for this video to play out. Uh, it'll scroll down and you can see the biography and the credentials of Bingo, what more Radio Well does. And also, in case you missed the live stream yesterday, more Radio Well is going to be presenting some information on mental health, uh, how it plays a big, big part of our daily lives and why it's important to keep your mind clear and focused. Um, and he's also going to be touching and, and kind of teaching that and, and emphasizing uh, with the Torah, incorporating with the Torah law and what the Torah says about uh, keeping your mind free, focused, and, and keeping your mind right and staying, staying focused and centered. Torah Center briefly touches over his credentials. One of the last pages we have is the contact page. Another great, great image graphic work got the mighty Hebrew in his garments and yes that's that's Philly that's Philadelphia and this is where you go for the general inquiries and the official email address for the website is info at the mighty Hebrew.com but you also have the option to leave a phone number a fax number a cell phone number so if you want to receive a text message or email or whatever all general inquiries come through here and the last part I have and then we can open it up for discussion is what's I think I have one more thing yes, gentlemen oh yeah there's also uh, you can support and or donate and support the movement that the mighty Hebrew Morey Yoel Ambassador Abraham this will go to providing more material to members of the website it'll go to help us bring more interviews discussions and lessons from respected elders scholars and speakers in various fields and it'll also go to maintaining and producing the newsletter Oh, and one thing I left out about the community section. Anybody that's involved in the community that may have a business, you can submit your business, your name, and your contact information. And once it's approved by one of the members on the administrative staff, uh, you can list that. That's going to be another part of the community section. All right. So appreciate everybody listening. I think that covers the MightyHebrew.com. You can go there now, sign up for membership, uh, the mightyhebrew.com. The landing page is live. You'll see that tomorrow or the next day. We're releasing the rest of the website to the general public. I uh, appreciate everybody's uh, participation and, and listening in. All right. Hellraiser, did you want to comment on anything, good brother? And uh, let the family know what you got going on as well one more time, good brother? Any um... No, nah, I just say, I just want people to really support real, real, real things like this because it's it's, it's for your access right now, and um, it's not something that you can turn on the TV and see, but it's more important that than what come on that TV for you to see. So I think you should be tuning into this website, the Mighty Hebrew has and HellraiserDigital.com. If you want some realness in your life, in your life and in your home, you should tune into us. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's wonderful. Uh, I sound. You hear me? Loud and clear, Tribal Minister. Everything. Yo, I was I was anticipating on Philly, right? And where it is at the end is perfect. You know, it's 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 definitely perfect. Because I was like, ah, uh, I'm from Philly. I seen the New York John, which I mean, I ain't have no problem with it. And then at the very end, it was it was placed perfect. You know what I'm saying? The whole website is dynamic. Um, this right here is 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 really a dream. You know, first and foremost, again, I want to give praise and honor, you know, to the eternal one of Israel. You know, for giving me this blessed opportunity to my nation, you know, you know, you know, I'm just, you know, my mother, you know, my Sunday Abba who passed away, all those who, you know, believed in the mighty Hebrew, 
and the mighty Hebrews and the mighty Hebrew research team. So you know my spiritual advisor, Mario L. You know to you know my mentor that brought me into the truth, Christianity as well. To the ascended anointed one, that on they knew that they knew, but not me, but Israel. I mean, it's so many people that I just want to thank. You know, special shout out to my Isha Queen Bathsheba. You know, through all the bumps and bruises, you know what I'm saying? And she just stuck with me. And, you know, and, and, and this was a beautiful thing because she was with me from the beginning when I came home, you know, to this day. You know, you know, we had a you know, real tight relationship. You know, there were certain obstacles, some obstacles here and there, but she's still here. I just thank her for her support, you know, because she believed in me, you know what I'm saying? I thank my other Isha, Queen Dania, you know what I'm saying, for her motivation. And, you know, I just thank all Israel, my children. I thank my children's mother, you know, Princess um, Yerashia, you know, Zakaria for having my children. I just thank everybody because now we can, like, really, really operate, you know, on a global level to bring forth this unification on a whole nother level because I feel as though, you know, our ancestors, they came before us, you know, in the 60s, 50s, the 40s, you know, and even further than that, they, they wouldn't have never conceptualized it on this level. So I also want to give a shout out to Kwam Yasha Al, you know, out in the Philippines, you know what I'm saying? I want to give a shout out to, uh, you know, all those Israelites that's in the Middle East, you know, that's big enough, the mighty Hebrew, you know, the Ethiopian Hebrew organizers, you know, in Gondar, Ethiopia, that's been giving the mighty Hebrew shots out. I ain't forget about y'all. You know what I mean? Soon me and more you well, we're going we gonna to go, we're going to come to Ethiopia and get that presentation. You know, our Hebrews like brothers out of Texas is waiting on us. You know, we coming. You know, it's so much work. You know that needs to be done because we in we definitely in the last days in the sense of this world system being torn apart. You know, I also want to give shots out to some of the prominent leaders out there, the Captain Cesariaka, ISUBK, to Priest Dana Allah from the Lions of Israel, General Hashar, from out of the Ambassadors of Christ, Morikanai, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying, out to Lerat, Israel. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, a voice of Zion to, you know, Prince Asiel be Israel. You know, um, he's trying to make it through, you know, but we definitely got his support. Ambassador Avraham, Israel, again to the family, you got to come to the international inaugural flag raising, you know, in the memorial of our forefathers and foremothers. This March, excuse me, yeah, this March 27th to the 29th, 2016, Jamestown, Virginia. You know what I mean? Be there. You know, if you ain't there, you definitely square. You know, so just come through. I can give a shout out, you know, to, you know, my brother Red Pill, his brother Blue Pill. You know what I mean? And a much love out, you know, Natural Tahuti. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, you know, keep your head up, you know, we know that, you, you know, you up in that system and all, we love you, man, you know, we all make mistakes in life, you know what I'm saying, I ain't got no problems with nobody, I'm just glad that, you know, we this far, you know what I'm saying, we this far, and the only thing we can do is just continue to build and elevate, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's it, you know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Tribal minister, if I if I could interject real quick, good brother, you mentioned the the your your good uh, you know personal friends. You know you know these two individuals personally, and you brought up Priest Daniela from the Lions of Israel, and you brought up uh, the General Hashar. Some people call him Hurricane Hashar, uh, but they have a, a a powerful event going down on the 19th. Uh, I also believe that you're going to be there along with Kashu historian Dan Knight, or Moray Yashaya. Could you tune in and, and give the audience a, a little sneak peek of uh, what uh, you, uh, 
Pashar, Daniela, Kashub, and uh, also want to give a shout out to Maccabees TV. You know, Priest Daniela works very hard to put that together. I'm hoping they, they have a live stream so that people can tune in and watch live on the 19th. But, it, but if uh, they don't, I know he mentioned that he's going to upload it to Maccabees TV as soon as he gets a chance. So without letting too much out into the atmosphere, uh, what do you guys have planned for that event? Or just plug it and let the people know what time it starts at uh, Nicholas Bookstore. Uh, Nicholas Bookstore, um, I forgot exactly what time, but, but I can say, you know, um, the, the title is The Synagogue of Satan. You know, so mm. I'm definitely going to be showing and proving, you know, who we are, who we are, if they are Jews or not. So, you know, each, you know, you know, General Hashar, he's going to have his presentation. Um, Priest Dana Allah is going to have his presentation, and he's splitting that in half with me. Um, what I'm going to bring forth is, you know, after they reveal basically who the synagogue of Satan is, my whole thing is to piece Israel up, you know, in a sense, on a whole international level. I have my PowerPoint presentation done. It will be correlated to what we brought forth, which is Hebrew Israelite sovereign nationalism. You know, um, I'm going to bring, you know, a couple of little things showing how, you know, there's no way possible that those that say they are Jews, they can't, and they're not the true children of Israel. But my main focus when I do go there, it's the unification of our people. I'm going to be bringing the flag, you know what I'm saying, with, uh, with me, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, just bringing forth that unification because even with this presentation, you see the unification. You see, you know, brothers from the kingdom of Yah, brothers and sisters from the kingdom of Yah, brothers and sisters from the kingdom of Yah, hosts, you know, brothers and sisters from AOC, Lions of Israel, you know what I mean, Hashava, you know, Shema. So you seeing, you know, the house of David. This unification is at hand, and the Creator is manifesting certain historical events to bring forth that unification. Sometimes, you know, controversy is necessary to bring forth unification. You know what I'm saying? Because if these things wouldn't happen, like for instance, with the Kim on trial, you know, giving shots out to Nazi Yashavel Bain Zebulon. Because he was one that spearheaded messianic leaders, and leaders to come together, you know, to challenge, you know, that whole comedic school of thought. And as, you know, Hashar said, and as well as Priest Nahala, to side negatively out of the 41 clippings on that, answer. And I beg to differ, I say they weren't properly answered. Them three right there, but I'm saying it was 41 questions. So when I was on the Mighty Hebrew back and I said, they asked me the question, did you know the Hebrews win? No, no, you know, polite had his people in there, and, and I don't even want to say that name. You know, let me disregard that because you know, I heard his name got written all night. I'm going to take your brother. You know what I mean? So I give further notice if or not because I don't know what the situation is with that. But what I will say, you know what I'm saying is, you know, when you look at these 41 slides, you know, we won that debate academically. But when it came to the people, you know what I mean, they have more of an uproar. That's, that doesn't determine the winner or the loser. What determines the winner or loser it's the evidence, and the evidence of the matter is the committee or the commission side, they lost that debate, hands down, they lost it. And, um, you know, my thing is what's going to happen on the 20th when it comes to, you know, Rabbi Rosenberg and Polite, I mean, I'm not, I'm not rooting for anybody because my whole objective is to be Israel, you know, and the truth is Yah and his Torah, and neither. God is producing, you know what I'm saying, the truth when it comes to you know, who the true children of Israel is in this absolute and what we need to do as a people. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not here to be on anybody's side but the truth. And the truth of the subject 
is from my understanding era. So, you know, I the Hebrew, you know, when I go out there on the 20th, I'm only going there to support my Hebrew Israelite brothers that's there, my Hebrew Israelite sisters that's there. You know what I mean? And even some in the black conscious community that I deal with. You know what I'm saying? But again, much love, respect, and honors to all those near and far striving for righteousness sake. You know, that's my even I see institution first, nothing else matters. And that's all I'm concerned with. I'm concerned with my people, Israel. Hallelujah. 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 I'll second that. That was powerful, mighty Hebrew. Have uh, before, before, real, real heavy. Before we uh, get some more commentary from Hellraiser, Morea, well, you dropped out for a second, good brother. I hope you caught everything uh, when I was breaking down the website, all the different departments and everything it offers. Uh, let's get some commentary on your thoughts and uh, what you hope to accomplish and exactly what role you're going to play with Mighty Hebrew University. Yeah, can I uh, give praise to the Most High again? Um, definitely, I enjoyed those words. First of all, first of all, from the, uh, the mighty Hebrew, and uh, it's definitely inspiring and encouraging to hear my brother happy. You know, I, I know where my brother came from. You know, we've been brothers for too many, too many, too many years, and you know, I'm just excited for my brother. You know, what I mean, uh, uh, him as well as anybody else striving for righteousness deserves this. You know, we we, we talk about the punishments and the, uh, and the, you know, and the deprived conditions that happen to us as a people, but we never actually focus on, you know, deserving blessings or mentioning the blessings that people do receive. And so this is definitely a blessing uh, to see my brother, the mighty Hebrew, be given a form where his information can be uh, given out there to the people. Um, I did catch um, all, all of the, that you broke down on the, uh, the internet. I just missed a little bit of the beginning uh, words from the mighty Hebrew. But the uh, internet breakdown is beautiful by Sam. I think you did a excellent job, and uh, definitely let the designer and yourself and whoever you know. It was beautiful, man. I mean, it's it's immaculate. I think it addresses um, a lot of the, uh, the things that we're trying to aim and shoot for, uh, particularly uh, being resourceful. Because if nothing else, if people uh, you know really don't agree with our messages, if they don't you know get our messages, if they can get the resource, if they can get the, the help that they need, you know, that's one of the important um, focuses that we have with the Mighty Hebrew University. Um, my, my role in the Mighty Hebrew University uh, is basically to be a support uh, to the Mighty Hebrew University um, and to help it on a spiritual and academic level and to also assist the Mighty Hebrew as well as um, my brother by Sim with um, the uh, spiritual or academics or even the structural uh, uh, ramifications of the whole university uh, from a business and academic standpoint, you know, and this is going to be uh, real profitable uh, uh, for many people because the knowledge of the Most High is something that people are thirsting for. There isn't a famine really for money, you know, not too much for a lot of people who are working and are well off. It's not a famine for bread or for water. The Creator said it's going to come a time where there's a, a famine for the word of the Most High. And so we're in that stage now. And so this is an opportunity for us to create a well of water. And so the Mighty Hebrew University is really going to uh, uh, cover a lot of aspects of spirituality, uh, of academics, uh, of history, um, resources. It's going to cover a wide variety of things. And the good thing also about the Mighty Hebrew University is that it's also connected uh, with other associations and things that we're doing. And so uh, we're looking to really accomplish uh, creating unity in the nation and really, uh, uh, you know, assisting those that don't have teachers, that don't have uh, congregational uh, places to learn, you know, that don't have advisors. You know, we want to be able to offer those resources to our people. Because in order for us to thrive as a nation, we have to be self-sufficient. And so we're trying to assist in that self-sufficiency uh, and becoming a nation, becoming sovereign, and working for unity. And so uh, I hope that that answered the question of, uh, of my input with the uh, Mighty Hebrew University 
as well as, you know, some of the things I'm hoping that it would accomplish. And on there, too, I don't know if we mentioned this, and I'm sure by some did cover it because he's a, 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 what I like to call a perfectionist. Uh, we're going to be the, the services of offering uh, marriage ceremonies, marriage structure, of actually offering uh, burials, uh, uh, services, of actually offering uh, psychological services, you know, uh, lecture services. You know, these are resources that our people really don't have. And so we're trying to create that avenue where they know if they need something, there is somebody out there offering it. So we are servants to first and most high to our people. And so uh, that's all I had to add to that in reference to the uh, mighty Hebrew University. And I'm happy for my brother and, and he deserves this. And, and, and I'm happy for this being something that's going to be positive and beneficial for the, for the nation and for the people. And I'm looking to participate in it and give him my all to help this to be a success. And it's already a success. It's all about keeping it successful. And that's what we want to try to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I agree. I agree. That was well, well spoken, more right here. Well, well spoken. Hellraiser, if you would, since you're one of our guests of honor tonight, was there anything you would like to add or comment on what these brothers were bringing out tonight? Um, I want to, I want to, you know, I want to give thanks to everybody involved with this, because one thing about brotherhood is very important these days, because a lot of things are trying to separate us, you know, and um, try to try to conquer us that way, and um, this shows that strength in numbers, you know, and um, don't be afraid to support each other. You know, you see your brother, he could be, used, be, be be using your help. Don't be afraid to help him. And um, support each other, man. When, when it comes to, to, to us being Hebrews, we got to do that now in, the, in these last days, man. It's very important now. Don't turn your head when you see when you when you see your brother could be could, could be be useful of, of your help. You understand what I'm saying? Don't don't do that kind of stuff. That's right. That's right. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, Hellraiser. You know, it's because at the same time as all this going on, we in spiritual warfare still. So don't forget that. Dang, absolutely. I agree. And, you know, there's been some things that, you know, we all discussed before we went live. You know, there's some events playing out. And, you know, everybody's got their own opinion. There's some conspiracy theories floating around. But we're our brother's keepers. We know which ones we trust. We know which ones we look out for. As long as we keep Torah and keep... Keep salvation in mind and, and mm -hmm. the, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. I, I believe we're going to be just fine. Yeah, and I, and I wanted to say something, say something more. I just want to all again give a shout out to Kasub, the Danite historian. Where you shy, I talked to him. You know, early he's telling with his daughter he wanted to come on. You know, what I'm saying again to General Hashar as well. This priest down the Ala. I'll be working with them this Saturday. You know, to smash that myth or so called myth. You know, it's time for the true children of Israel to rise. You know, this Sunday, you know, I just say let the truth prevail. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, maybe, you know, one day, you know, if it's the will of God, you'll actually have, you know, an Israelite that actually upholds the Hebrew Israelite culture. You know what I'm saying? To actually go up against the Jewish religion. You know what I mean? That would be that would be the greatest, you know what I mean, debate ever on earth. You know what I mean? When you actually have <laughs> you know a skill. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a skill I'm, I'm like, that. like myself. You know, you well, there's a whole bunch of us, you know what I'm saying, that can easily, you know, decapitate you know, and put on the plate those that lie and say what they are and what they not. So I mean, I have to, you know, you know, be real strategic at my words right now. But for real, for real, I wish that was me in that debate. 
you know what I mean, against the rabbi, you know what I'm saying, no, nothing personal, you know what I'm saying, but the truth is the truth. Uh -oh. For so long, we've been a downtrodden people, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, this, this, this is the realest culture to ever be involved in, you know, what we've been through, you know, the castrations, the robbings, the molestations, the lynching, the loss of identity, the loss of self, the loss of everything. We don't even know what it means to lose our language. Mighty Hebrew, I, I think the audience wants to know, and the elephant in the room, is the Mighty Hebrew, after attending this Synagogue of Satan event, is the Mighty Hebrew going to be in the building? On the 20th, the witness Rabbi Rosenberg and Brother Polite have their discussion, which will probably turn into a debate. I mean, if it's the will of Yah, be it. You know what I'm saying? If it's the will of Yah, I'm more concerned, you know, and, and again, it's, it's, it's no offense to nobody. I'm more concerned with the venues that my people were doing. And when I say my people, so I and I need mean my people too. But you know, our spiritualities and our 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 you know vision curves. So I have to walk with those of like mind. So the SOS conference is one trillion septillion times more important to me than you know the you know the Rosenberg debate polite or vice versa or you know but again if polite you know is going to um do what he got to do you know you know may the creator be with him you know what i mean if that, that's his mission because you know what maybe what he do what he's going to do it may bring him into the truth sometimes the creator do things to cause other things to happen so you never know you know that might be that brother's calling to take his soul to lost or in another level because we never looked at it like that. We never looked at, you know, what's going to happen, you know, in a way that can affect his life, you know, in a positive way. You know what I'm saying? To create the, the, the uh, mysterious real quick, things. Real quick, this is, uh, you brought up Kai Uh I know that brother's scholarship. He's a very sharp individual. He's presented several lessons on this channel. Uh, just showing the family the official flyer, showing some support for the event that Priest Daniela Hussar and Kachu were putting on. The I'm, the ninth secret, I'm the secret guest. I'm the secret yeah, guest. That's why not a, secret, not a secret no more. The mighty Hebrew will be there. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Nicholas what? Bookstore, Nicholas Bookstore, 7 p.m., Kashub Dana Historian, Priest Don Yala of the Eloha, and Hashar of the OMC. So if you can do your part to be there in person, I believe they're asking for a $10 donation. I hope they live stream it. Uh, it's, definitely, it's, definitely, it's definitely going to be live stream. I, I even talked to Side Nugget tonight. So him and his whole crew, they come in. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be real big. You know what I'm saying? And all that. You know, this is all for you and for us, meaning for you, Israel. You know what I'm saying? The time is at hand to really set the record straight. You know, and I'm going to continue to say this. Until you get a Hebrew Israelite that upholds the Torah in that arena, or one of them Hasidics, one of them years, then the truth is never going to fully be brought to its social fullness, you know, when it comes to a public arena in a debate format, you know, but the truth is going to prevail regardless, but in the debate format, you know, we need somebody that's skilled in the Torah, you know, skilled in the Hebrew language, skilled in Hebrew culture and Hebrew medieval culture, skilled in truth, you know what I'm saying, because a lot of people you know, you can quote biblical verses and things like that, but we need people that really know, you know, how to deal with anthropology and sociology and history 
and know how to deal with etymology and deal with language because that's one thing for sure.